Hey, it's Shannon from iHeart Radio Canada, joined by my good friend, Tate McRae. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. We were just talking about how nice it is to be back in person. Yes. Good to see you in the flesh. Crazy. Yeah. And I talked to you a few weeks ago, just on Zoom. Yeah. But um, since we talked last time, you have started your tour. You're in your tour. You're in Canada right now, which is nice to have you back. How's it been going? It's been wild. Um, tour is crazier than I ever thought it would be. Yeah. My fans are crazy. Yeah. I love them. I can imagine going from the pandemic and being alone in your room and writing songs and all the things to then now seeing everybody face to face has got to be such a polar opposite, right? Yeah. It feels everything is starting to sink in and feel real now. Yeah. Um, before nothing felt real right. at all. I was like, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Like a weird fever dream. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. Um, okay. I wanted to know this about you. Do you have a rider on tour? I do. I have a pretty lame rider. Though. What's on your rider? Um, <laughs> It's like <laughs> veggies, pineapple, uh, popcorn, hot Cheetos, okay. um, coffee, Celsius, and water. Nice. <laughs> That's not bad. That's, That's pretty impressive. That's my rider. Yeah. I saw that you tweet. You tweeted that you hate salad, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, uh. I don't like, I mean, it's like fine. It's yeah. not like enjoyable though. I don't, right. I wouldn't say. You're not going to like go out of your way to no. get excited about a salad. I wouldn't get excited about it. But do you know what? Arugula with lemon and salt slaps. I don't know. Really? I don't know why. I don't know why, but it does. It's really good. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I'll taste it. You should try it. I will try it. Before I judge, I'll try it. Right. Yeah. Do you have a favorite food though? Um, what do you like go to? Or if you just want to like veg out? I... I love mac and cheese. Nice. <laughs> Do you, are you a ketchup on a mac and cheese or no ketchup? I'm a ketchup on everything except for mac and cheese. What? Yeah. What? I will put it on anything. Okay. Anything. Interesting. Again, not judging, but you should. Are you a ketchup on mac and I'm cheese? I'm like t too much ketchup on mac and oh, cheese. Where okay. it like changes color. Right. Yeah. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're judging each other now. <laughs> right. I love it. Okay. You're one step closer to the album being released. You made the announcement. How are you feeling leading up to May 27th? Um, I'm terrified. I think I just want to change everything. Like really? I literally, it's, it's, it's so stressful because now all I can do is just like critique it. Like, yeah. and I, I, it's like hard to enjoy it unless it's like out and people are reacting well. Like that's the only way you can enjoy it. Right. Do you think you'll enjoy it more? Because obviously when it comes out, everyone's going to love it. Do you think that will make, change your mind about how you're feeling about it now? I hope so. I mean, the thing is, is that I originally love the songs when okay. I listen back the first time and I like write it and I'm like, oh, wow. But then seven months later, when you've heard them all a bazillion times, it's right. you just have no idea anymore. Right. They all like sound like aliens <laughs> to me. <laughs> what would you change about it? Like production, lyrics? I think it's, I think I love it. I, th okay. I think I love it, but my, it's just hard to settle, settle down and yeah. let it be. Right. I think it's like when anybody watches themselves on camera or anything like that, where they're like just nitpicking when totally. things people wouldn't even notice. No, hundred percent. I'm seeing, seeing, seeing and hearing things that no one would be able to hear. Right. But just drive me insane. Yeah. So I can imagine. <laughs> okay. I love the title. I used to think I could fly. Can you explain more of the meaning behind that? Um, yeah, I basically always had this obsession with flying. Uh, I've always been able to fly in my dreams and I actually always wanted to do a title like this for an album since I was like nine years old. So it's crazy that I'm actually doing it. Um, but yeah, it basically talks about this summer. I like, you know, we were just talking about this. Like I turned 18, moved to LA, like so much was changing and I feel like I got smacked in the face with the reality and I was like, okay, this is what life feels like. Right. Um, and I think that's like the definition of growing up is like, people realize their insecurities and their fears and what they're scared of and what they have to do. And, um, it's really scary. Yeah. And so that's kind of how I feel like the album, you know, is sounding. That's how I, what I talk about and everything. So, yeah, I know that that is tough about growing up where you think that you're going to be like more confident and all these things, which I'm sure that you are totally but then with that comes like a lot of anxieties and fears too. Right. Right. I mean, I remember when I was younger, I was like 10 years old. Someone said to me like, oh, as soon as you grow up, like everything gets harder. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. And they're like, yeah, everything gets worse. And I'm like, that's such a horrible <laughs> yeah, pessimistic who told you that? way that's to look horrible. at life. Um, I would never want to see that. And then there's like little glimpses of that. And you're like, ah, oh, wow growing up is like kind of scary right. um and just being an adult is scary yeah 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 well you're doing a good job of it so far thank so. you yeah we were talking off camera about how the first time that we met you were just talking about moving to LA and living on your own and all the things how has the experience been living alone like not at your parents house anymore I mean it's definitely challenging because I've realized that I'm completely incapable of doing any adult things yeah. <laughs> like I feel like I've devoted so much time towards like 
my singing and dancing and everything that I like don't know how to cook. I don't know how to clean. I don't know how to do my laundry. Right. I just I've had to learn how to do everything. You have to outsource for that. Yeah, yeah. I eat a lot of Trader Joe's mac and cheese twenty four seven without and ketchup. Without ketchup. And yeah, it's 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 interesting. Um and then also it's like weird because I have to actually plan things now. Right. <laughs> Which I'm like I'm not gonna make plans with my friends. It's <laughs> so much work. Really? <laughs> so you just won't. I'll just stay in my house. Yeah. yeah. What's the best thing though about like living out on your own? That independence? Independence, I think. Yeah. I love the fact when I have like a schedule and I'm like a working girl, like yeah. you know, head to my session and yeah. pick up some wine. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's very uh refreshing to not feel like you're like being controlled. Right. Just doing your own thing. Okay, so I know when you first got into music, you were dancing, wanted to get into singing, made a song on YouTube, it blew up, all that stuff. Did, was there any challenges with not having any like professional training when it came to singing when you would go into like studio sessions and things like that? Well, I was actually classically trained. Oh, you were? Okay, yes. gotcha. Um, so I would do it for like an a half an hour a week. Like very... Okay. But I used to sing like opera. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah. It's like Jason Drulo. That's like, really? He's like classically trained, yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I feel like it's very interesting. Like I have a super raspy voice, but um, which like my old singing teacher like hated. Oh, okay. She just like did not like it. But I used to like, there's videos of me being like, oh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you should incorporate that into your head. I really should. Yeah. It sometimes slips out if I'm like if I'm writing like really cla I have this one song on my album that's like really beautiful and classical and um it like kind of slips out a little bit oh yeah <laughs> yeah yeah you talked about how the album has like a few different genres in it right what kind of genres can we expect everything yeah there's everything in this album yeah I, I, I just genuinely wanted everyone to get a taste of what they liked right um and you know I was thinking about like every single person that could listen to this and um I think I think people will want what they want, and, and I think they'll get a piece of that in this album. There's nice. There's, like, 12 tracks that are all so different. Amazing. Yeah. So good. Is there any genre that you haven't done that you'd like to touch touch on or get into? Um, yeah. I mean, I think I haven't created, like, a super, super pop pop song before. Right. Um, I feel like all my stuff is, like, kind of alternative, so, like, maybe one day I'll write something that's just nice full-on Katy Perry mode yeah love it <laughs> I love it I also love how much you tease your fans online with like snippets of your songs and like how often you're like you want this one how is that from your side of things just getting that wave of comments people of people like demanding that you drop songs? <laughs> um honestly I do it because I have cannot like make up my mind about anything so if my managers will be like what do you want to release I'm like no idea like like let me ask i don't know let me let me like tease it and see what they like and they're they're really honest like they'll tell me what they want and what they don't want right and has that changed the outcome then at the end because of your fans yeah Yeah. for sure it's also made songs i've been like she's all i want to be i was terrified of because i wrote that all by myself and i was in the room with the producer who's very much like okay we just gave each other a high five and like how do you know if that's a good song like i'm I don't know, I just wrote it in an hour, yeah. and I'm, you know, then it's going to be my big single, and I'm like, I have no idea if this is even good or not, and if I'm talking about anything that's worth listening to, um, and then I was, you know, after asking, like, a million questions and, like, teasing on the internet for forever, I was like, okay, I should, I should give it to them. Yeah, finally. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever had that with a song where you had that confidence, where you were like, oh, this one's going to, like, hit hard? Um, I definitely knew You Broke Me First was going to hit hard because I was like would cry over that song yeah, like, perfect. um but like she's all I want to be same kind of like emotions like yeah it, that one did not like feel good to write right but it felt good to l- listen to yeah so yeah and the tour has been going well you said what do you like to do to unwind after a show what's your usual routine um just sleep <laughs> yeah sleep um usually we all just like like I basically like love my crew they're the best ever the band the dancers they're all like really close friends of mine so um we all just like chill backstage and try to relax after shows because there's so much adrenaline I'll be up till like three in the morning right Um, yeah it's gotta be hard yeah it's difficult yeah and you had Sean Mendes show up at a show of yours recently (laughs) yeah he came he came to my show in Austin which okay this day was beyond crazy okay. there was tornadoes like a mile away from oh, us no. so I wasn't a expecting anyone to show up because I'm like right. who would come to a concert in a tornado <laughs> not me <laughs> um but everyone showed up amazing and then Sean Mendes showed up and he was in the back of the room and I didn't know All, my entire like team knew and they like oh. didn't tell me 
really thank god I yeah did they not tell you on purpose because they knew that you would have yeah yeah (laughs) Yeah. um but it was it was really it was really cool I'm happy you came nice what are you looking forward to most with going on tour with him um I feel like he's like very motivated and I I feel like I'm gonna get jacked because (laughs) (laughs) I have a feeling that he's gonna like work out every day like really aggressively and then I'm gonna want to do the same yeah you'll like see him working out and you're like okay fine okay I'll, fine like, I'll go, go do do the it. same thing yeah <laughs> yeah also your friend Olivia just won three Grammys yesterday how yeah. did that feel for you to see her that's gonna be so fun so proud of her yeah. she's absolutely killing it she's insane yeah I love her so much that's so nice and you're up for two Junos yeah coming up in big categories too crazy yeah how are you feeling about that I mean, I like totally even forgot about that. That's cra- <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Um, yeah, it's it's all very. Ex- there's so much going on right now. It's yeah. um, hard to wrap my head around anything right now. I can totally imagine. Yeah. Um, so it's been so so busy for sure.